Hi everyone, and welcome back to the comic book intro animation course. In this lesson, we'll learn how to render our completed animation using both Adobe After Effects and Adobe Media Encoder. Now in Adobe After Effects, let's go ahead and make sure that the current composition is selected. And in this case, it's comic book intro. And this is the composition that we want to render. So make sure that's open. Then go to composition and then select add to render queue. Once you've done that, you'll see a new render queue panel will appear with some options that we can explore. So let's go ahead and click on the render settings here. So at the moment it's set to best settings, but if we click on that here, you'll see that we've got a new window that we can explore some options. Now we can choose things like changing the quality. At the moment it's set to best, which means the resolution is set to full, but we can also change these settings. So let's change this to half or change this to a third just to make the video a little bit smaller. And let's go ahead and click OK on that as we want to keep it at the best settings here. And now the next thing that we can take a look at is the output module. Now at the moment it's set to lossless. Again, if you click on that, we've got some more options here that we can explore, such as changing the format. At the moment it's set to AVI, but we can also change it to a QuickTime video, for example. And we can also choose to resize our video here by clicking on the resize checkbox here. We can change the size of our video like so. Now let's go ahead and change that back to 1920 by 1080, as that's the size that we want to keep it at. Awesome. Now we can also change some of the audio options here as well if you wanted to do that. Click OK once you're done. And then over here we've got Output 2. And once we click on that, you'll be able to choose the destination of where your final render will be placed on your computer. So those are all the options that we can explore in Adobe After Effects in terms of rendering. Once you're happy with the settings that you've chosen, all you have to do is go ahead and click on the render button on the top right of the render queue panel here. Now let's head over to Adobe Media Encoder. Now Media Encoder has several benefits over rendering directly from Adobe After Effects, which you may want to take advantage of. Now, as it's a dedicated rendering program, rendering times can sometimes be a little bit faster and you might have more options to choose from as well. Now to get started, we can just simply click and drag our project or After Effects file into the Q panel here. And then you'll see now that we can select which composition that we want to render. So make sure that you've selected the right composition which in this case is the comic book intro composition, and then select OK. And here we can, once we've done that, we can click on the preset text here to make some adjustments to our final video. So just click on that here, and you'll see that we've got this new window that we can explore. Now at the top here, we can choose what sort of format that we want our video to be. Again, we've got all these different options to choose from, such as a animated GIF or a MPEG or a QuickTime movie. So choose what format you want this to be in. And we've also got this handy preset option uh, menu here that we can use as well. Now over here, we can choose things to make our rendering a lot quicker if we wanted to upload it to a specific platform such as YouTube or social media websites. Now in the section below here under video, we also have 
the option to customize the video settings, such as the size and the frame rate. Now at the moment we've got this to matching source. So if we untick that, we can change all these options here like so. Cool. Now let's click on match source again to make sure that everything is as we want it, 1920 by 1080. Now over here, we've also got an audio, audio section here if we want to adjust the audio settings. Now cropping is also quite easy to do over on the left side of the window here. So all you have to do to crop is simply click and drag the bottom triangles here on the left and on the right, like so. And as you can see, it adjusts the time, the length of our movie over here, like that. And using this scrubber here, you can see when our video starts and when our video ends. So that's a handy thing to use if we wanted to crop our video. So let's bring it back to the full length. Excellent. So have a play with the different options and explore the settings here in this window. And then once you're happy, click on the OK button here. And then you want to choose where you want your video to be by clicking on the blue text here under Output File. And then once you've done that, click on the green Play button here to render your video. Awesome. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you've had fun with this project and I'll see you next time.